Hi, I'm Steve, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about Meter Hero. Every year, the United States wastes enough energy to power the UK for seven years. On average, the American household wastes 20% of their energy usage and 12% of their water. That's $40 billion a year. That's bigger than the GDP of many small countries. The problem is the average American family is busy. They have a lot going on, and saving energy isn't necessarily, necessarily a priority. But they want to help, and they want to make a difference. The question is, how? What can we do to motivate mom and dad to help us save energy? How can we make it easy, rewarding, and fun? We could ask them to be good environmental stewards, or we could tell them that it saves money. But what we've really found is the thing that motivates people better than anything else is to tell them that the neighbors do a better job than they do. So there's a company called O Power right now who does a really good job with this. They foster some competition, and what they've found is that 77% of people will take action when they learn that their neighbors do a better job. But at Meter Hero, we're gonna up the ante because we can do it better. Here's how. We created a website that not only uses competition, but it offers rewards when people save energy. And then those rewards are gonna come from our brand. So people associate winning with the images of some of their favorite products. So here's how it works. The first thing you're gonna do is you need to take a picture and you need to tweet your meter. We had so much fun with this this weekend, we got banned from Twitter because they thought we were spam. <laughs> After you tweet your meter, you can go onto our website and you can challenge a friend and you can say, hey, come save more energy than me. And then, when, you and when the competition goes on, somebody's gonna win every time and they're gonna get something. The thing that's so great about this is somebody's gonna win and the winner is gonna associate that feeling with our sponsor's brand. So, what did we do this weekend? Well, we built a minimum viable product and we do have a competitive platform online and live right now. And if you guys wanna sign up, I encourage you to go on Twitter and tweet your meter at Meter Hero. So, market validation. Is this really gonna work? Well, these are pictures that were tweeted yesterday. Before noon, we probably had 20 pictures tweeted and today we got even more. We even got a picture of a water meter tweeted from a sailboat in the Dominican Republic. So, what is our revenue model like? There's a company called Kip right now which does games and rewards people with brands, these brands in particular, for playing games, for liking their favorite TV shows. They proved that brands are willing to put down $25,000 for pilot programs to promote them. People want to be associated with sustainability and they want to help and these brands want to associate with a company like ours. So our team, we're great, we're diverse, and we're smart. We've got David, who's our uh, development ninja. We've got Phil, who works at H2O Score and has experience in energy efficiency. We have Miles, who's there too, at H2O Score, another one of our developers. And me, well, I've worked for an energy efficiency company for quite a while. And then we have Tron, who's an electrical engineer, smart guy. And we have McGee Young of H2O Score as our number one mentor who has some good connections that are gonna help us get the sponsorship. So, what does Meter Hero do? We unleash energy savings through rewards, competition, and analytics. And we're gonna make a difference today, and we're gonna make a difference tomorrow, and we're gonna change the world for years to come. Woo. Thank you. Judges, your three minutes starts now. How are you actually showing up for seeing So when people tweet a picture of their meter, we're gonna get a reading off of it, and then when they tweet again, we'll get another reading, and we can see their energy usage over that time. And then if they continue to tweet, we can see how much they say. Um, so our MVP, we built our MVP product this way because you cannot connect an API to a utility over the course of a weekend. Most of their folks were on vacation. So this is a minimum viable product. What we are going to do, what we will do, is connect to their APIs to get that uh, information automatically. 
Yes. So obviously, energy water usage is a big problem acknowledged. But why? Why would people care to do this? What? What is it that leads you to believe that you're going to get boards and boards of people signing up for this? What? Because they did this weekend on Twitter. So what we did is we did an outreach campaign this weekend and we said, okay, how can we prove this? How do we know people are really gonna take pictures and do it? I didn't think they were going to, and I told this these guys, but they made me believers. Because by simply getting 10 um, influencers on board, we were able to get like many, many, many pictures of people taking pictures of their meters without offering them any reward, simply by just asking. So if people will do that just by us asking, imagine if we offered them something in return. Do you think the focus on energy type money would Funnel potentially to help um, so there's a lot of different kinds of energy efficiency programs in the country right now, and the focus on energy is mostly uh, used for implementation, so like putting in CFL light bulbs, uh, retrofitting steam heaters, that sort of thing. Um, they're not necessarily into the behavioral science for those programs, but there are energy, energy efficiency companies who could potentially license this technology from us. Um, that is a potential revenue stream, but that we're, that's further down the road, but certainly they could use this. What do you do with 50,000 50, pictures of, of water? Yeah. We're never going to have 50,000 pictures because we'll be hooked up to an API before we get there. So what can you do with 50,000 API calls? Um, we'd be able to see like what motivates people to save energy, find statistics between them, and analyze the data and really figure out better ways to motivate folks to take action. Who's most juiced to do that beyond like, this kind of one-off sponsorship? Like, who's most incentivized to try to... Um, is there any, any monetization beyond sponsorship or gamification? There's a bunch of ways we could do this. Um, like I was saying earlier, we could uh, contract directly with energy efficiency companies and utilities, um, municipalities who need to save water, say somewhere like Arizona or California, or even somewhere like Waukesha, um, where you know they're outside of the Lake, Mich the Lake Michigan basin. Thanks for your time. Thank you.